Hey y'all, I'm back, making two videos today, because I had to finish the Bilson Saga, and I was very busy last week, so I couldn't really finish the Bilson Saga, but I finished it today, and I I don't care that I'm making two videos, I was really excited for this one, there's a fly in my room, and it <laughs> literally kept me up at night, I was real looking forward to it, so without further ado, I got a real weird idea and how to make D&D characters. I am sure I am not the first person to think of this. But we've all like made D&D characters and we always like made the backstory first, I feel like. I don't know. I didn't. I kind of did. But you guys all made your backstory before your like character stats and stuff you that you made. But what I'm doing is I am taking character and I am rolling a die or using an online number generator since I don't have D13 that I don't even know if they exist on my person at all times. But I am rolling a die for everything that does not include the character's background and personality. So I have my Chromebook right here with my with the character sheet on it and before I tell you completely about the character I am going to give a little bit of the like the system I chose to work with it's really weird for the ability scores I have some exceptions for the ability scores so normally when you get like you roll your ability score the minimum is like three and the maximum is 18 18 <laughs> Yeah, let's keep going. So the maximum would be 18 and what I did is I used an online number generator for it, but I made the minimum 8 because that's the default you get when you pull up a new character sheet on whatever we are using <laughs> to keep our character sheet stored. So it'd be a little more of a Fair isn't the right word, but it's the word I'm going to use. A fair playing field. But what I ended up with is a tiefling bard with a sailing bad reputation background. I rolled a die for classes and I got a two, which means I got a bard. And for races, I got a 9, which is a tiefling. If I get a 13 or a 10, it will be an unofficial thing. So I would go on a online source for unofficial characters, and I would just pick one off of that by rolling a die. So thankfully I didn't get one this first time, but it'll probably come and happen in the future. Because, you know, it's 1 in 13 or 1 in 10 chance. So, made a character, his name is Aidos, his virtue name is what it's called as art. It doesn't really make sense with the character, but I kind of ended up with it and I figured, sure. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all of the stats so I don't read it all out to you. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to read it if I just hold my computer screen up, up like that. Boom! I hope you can read that. I hope I gave you enough time. If not, this is a video. You can pause it. So you saw that and you can look at, I mean, the tiefling skills and the bard skills if you're really interested into it. Which I kind of doubt you do <laughs> because it's one of, I, I don't know. I doubt you would since it's all here. If you ever wanted to use this character, it's on here anyways, so you don't really have to look. But uh, I rolled a die for the spells, and the cantrips um, Iotis ended up with is Friends, Thymolatry, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a cantrip you get as a tiefling. You can look at it. Here you go. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to hold it closer or for very long. <laughs> 
and also Vicious Mockery was the third cantrip. And then for spells, I got Bane, Cure Wounds, Healing Word, and Thunder Wave. So I am going to go for the description first, and then some personality traits, and then the backstory, which is not very long. It's only about this long. <laughs> My other backstory is very long, but... Okay, so this tiefling has wings. I rolled and he ended up with wings instead of like another cantrip or something. I mean, tieflings, say have like a human-like build and oh, they all have horns. This one has like gazelle horns and they all have thick tails and canine teeth. Um, this tiefling has solid gold eyes, which means like no pupil, no iris or anything. Then kind of like a red wine skin tone. Not like bright red, but kind of like a mellow wine kind of color. And then medium size, hair behind the horns. And Iotis can, because of his reputation, can get away with like minor crimes, like not paying for a room at an inn or something like that. Because, you know, he's, he has a bad reputation. <laughs> I will be honest and say that this character makes more sense at a fourth or fifth level instead of a first level. But, <laughs> I don't know. So, he's kind of like a chaotic, neutral, almost chaotic evil. That, that'll that make sense more in the backstory. He's kind of a, I want to be rich. And I want to be respected because I'm a tiefling. So, yeah, respect me because I'm rich. <laughs> Except, probably doesn't have as long as hair as mine. I mean, he's a pirate, so kind of been picturing him with the one gold hoop earring kind of like pirate style like not jack sparrow pirate but pirate <laughs> then ideals like i want money flaws are kind of he doesn't like losing he, he will win no matter what and if he has to retreat or lose, he is in a sour mood. <laughs> so, here's the backstory. I am going to read it to you. Yeah, I'm going to... <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed something weird on the character sheet. Uh, something went in the coin pouch, not the equipment. So, here's the backstory. I am Iotis. Pirate, bard, tiefling. Don't remember my parents. I was raised as a captive on a pirate ship. Had to charm the captain, who had a susceptibility to music, in order to stay alive. When I was about 15 or 16, I learned how to make my fortune. I stayed on the chi ship and where I was raised until it, the ship made its fortune. I'd inspire the crew and drive the others insane through vicious mockery until my ship was rich then I loaded up on a ship's gold set it on fire and flew away I drove my crew insane and I flew to the next port genius right I charmed the next captain into letting me on and re rinsed and repeated the process until I was rich then I messed up someone found out about my scheme, didn't charm him right, didn't charm him right, and I only made off with ten gold, crossbow, crossbow, a dagger, a horn, my favorite instrument, a diplomat's pack, leather armor, a belaying pin, some rope, and clothes, and my canteen of enchanted orange mud. I don't know what it does. <laughs> But it is enchanted orange mud. I'm looking for a new adventure on land, but I still love the sight of the ocean. So, yeah, if we ever wanted to play as kind of a chaotic neutral slash chaotic evil kind of character, maybe we'd make more of a villain. Jake, I would gladly lend this character to you. But, yeah, it's kind of kind of fun concept. I did start on another character. I rolled everything. It is a half-orc paladin. Don't remember the background though. I'll think of it later. But 
yeah, I hope you guys liked this kind of video because I really enjoyed making it. So, n other ones won't be this long because I won't have to explain the process every single time. But I will see y'all later. Hopefully enough for another D&D session when Jordan gets back. That was a really creepy face. <laughs>